I'm right back at it. The work don't stop. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about this fight, about taking this fight. Uh, be just because I talked about coming back maybe July, June, something like that. But they approached me with this one. It was the right matchup. I think it's my biggest challenge. And, you know, the folks know I love a challenge, so I can't shy away from it. I'm not one of these guys that look for easy matchups, look for an easy opponent. I think Barboza is one of the fastest, most explosive dudes in the division. And once I beat him, then I'll take all that away from him. I think Barboza is a great athlete. Uh, and that is what really shines, but you can tell it's a lot of up here. And that's what's going to play through in the fight, too. Uh, you know, he's fast, he's explosive, he's a great athlete. I think we're the two best athletes, hands down, uh, in the division, probably in the UFC. So it'll really come down to the mental game. Uh, that's where he got beat versus Khabib, and that's what's going to show in my fight, too. You know, we'll match each other for speed, power, strength. But it's going to be the guy who works the hardest. It's going to be the guy who wants it more. That's going to get it done. And, and I'm, I'm going to be the worst than Khabib. Like you said, I've been calling out Khabib for years. Everybody's acting like everybody's scared of him, all this. Like, wait till I get my hands on the boy. He, 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 look, I, these Dagestani dudes, they tough. But I love tough. You also talked a lot about going to the 65 should it open up. Have you heard anything to indicate that that division would come around sooner? I think especially now you got so much of this the, the waters are so muddy you know there's so much going on this is the perfect time like let's do it let's get the people what they want you got more fights more more super fights uh, more champions more top 10 guys and and you have enough guys to do it I don't, I don't see what the hold up is uh, I'm still pushing for it I'm still gonna push for it after this fight we'll see where it goes but for right now I'm just gonna focus on what I got ahead of me which is a big challenge it's mostly about me being the best me, you know, understanding my body, uh, even in a lot of the countdown stuff that I'm doing for this fight, you know, it showed me doing yoga, showed me doing a little bit of dance, uh, things that I don't normally do, uh, you know, obviously doing like a lot more running and, you know, like I, I keep the work going, hey, uh, uh, my pace has been different for this camp, so I'm mostly focusing on me, not really what's on the outside, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, Faldus not being here, has been making it a lot tougher, but I gotta do what I gotta do. You know, it, it's money to be made, it's titles to be won, and uh, I think that's, at the end of the day, Fallis was such a great coach and so selfless that, that this is what he would've really wanted.